Hi friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy. Three simple tips for scoring great marks in MHD CET. The first one, study for CET. One of the common mistakes most of the students do is they start revising their subjects from 12th standard board textbooks or notes. Remember, 12th standard board examinations are test of your knowledge, while CET exam is your test of knowledge with common sense. The approach is slightly different. So do not study for board examination. Study for CT. So tip number one, study for CT from CT notes. Tip number two, work on your strength. I always give example of Sachin Tendulkar. You remember, he scored his 100th century against Bangladesh, not against Australia. Because it is easy to score against Bangladesh. So you also identify your strength and work on your strength. Most of the students are worried or concerned about their weaknesses. You have to identify your strength and focus on your strength. Work on your strength. Identify the chapters which are your strength. Identify the subjects which are your strength. And work on those chapters, those subjects which are your strength rather than worrying or concerned about your weaknesses. Tip number three, PCM. Now, the maths has got around 15 chapters and physics and chemistry together are around 30 chapters. If you study for this 30 chapters, it is going to give you 100 marks. And these 15 chapters are weighted for 100 marks. Use your common sense and little calculation. Here you have to study half as compared to this, but you get equal number of marks. So my suggestion is you study more maths as compared to physics and chemistry. Suppose in a day you study six hours. My recommendation is three hours should be for mathematics and remaining three hours should be for physics and chemistry. In CT what is important is speed and accuracy. To develop speed and accuracy you have to solve at least 200. Problems every day. Now, one of the common mistakes students do is they pick up MHD CT books and start solving the problems chapter wise. With this approach, your speed and accuracy both will not get developed. There is a secret of developing speed and accuracy. Instead of solving 100 200 problems from one particular chapter, you have to mix the number of chapters. And the best way is to go for mock test. So in a day, you have to solve 200 problems. 100 you can prepare from MHT CT textbooks. And 100 you can solve from any mock test. Make sure that you solve minimum 45 mock test. If you solve 45 mock test minimum, then speed and accuracy will be optimized and you will face the real examination with ease and comfort goodbye for now we'll see you later bye bye take care